So we finished lesson one. We've got a drum percussion layer on a split. We learned how to turn parts on and off. Um, basic getting your round of unified. That's where it starts, right? But now we're going to expand our universe. Unify can load all sorts of plugins and there's all sorts of patch libraries. A lot of them are free. So we're going to do something where I'm going to, I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of plugins on the computer, right? But I'm going to pretend I only have three plugins that I've, that I have installed onto my computer and I haven't told Unify about them yet. When I go to the plugin list, it's the same as if I was to go over here and do the clear list and say, okay, so there's nothing but the plugins that are included when you get Unify in this list. So we're at ground zero. If we go to the standard library, we have 640 patches to play with, right? But we're going to expand this because I have Zebra 2. I got DC0106 from Cherry Audio. And I went to Spitfire Audio and I got the free labs, which is a free like 30 some gigabytes of samples you can add to Unify. If you don't know about that, that Spitfire Audio, Spitfire Audio, right here, they will give you a uh, application you download. It, it it takes a while to do this, so you gotta have a little patience. Yeah, accept, accept. Okay, um, Spitfire Audio, discover Labs. So you go to Labs, and it will show you where you can download the so getting started or download all uh just to open a spitfire audio link open links so it's going to open up my spitfire application that i have and if i didn't have this it would install it right and with this you can go to labs and there's all of these really cool li sample libraries and we have unified every one of them into one library so that you can play all of them split them later than we've done two times as as a group all the programmers that like to come to the live streams and our customers of ours we've we've made patches using these so i have all of these installed if if you don't have them installed there's an install button under these click install um, make sure you go over here to settings and you tell it where you want it to download content path make sure you have it to your external hard drive or wherever you want it to install them so you don't have to manage that later and install them okay so i've done that we're going to, we're assume I've got this Zebra 2, DC0106, and Labs. So I'm going to go over to the PluginGuru.com website, and you click Unify, and then down this page in the middle, it's it says 80. I have to, I, I don't update this soon often enough, it seems, but we're up to like over 100 unified libraries now. And as you go down the list, you'll see DC0106. So click that. Hit the little download button and say just download only. Save it to your hard drive. Uh, go back. Because we want to scroll some more. And we're going to get down here to Spitfire Audio Labs. Spitfire Audio Labs. Unified. Uh, they haven't done a lot lately. Uh, so let's uh, go over here to the little download. Download only. Uh, save. Go back. We have one more to add. We want to add Zebra 2 from Uhi. So we go to Uhi Zebra 2. And we say download only. Uh, by the way, this email address is dead. If you email something there, I won't get it. Nobody gets it. <laughs> so we go save. There we go. We've got all three libraries right here on the hard drive. So unzip by opening them. So it unzips them. And then we can get rid of the zip files. And now when I open up DC, now you might want to pay attention to the Plugin Guru page. I made it go away, but there's, there's an important key here to check out. So on the Unify page, when you go to these plugins, it will tell you right here in brackets, uh, DC0106 is the VST2. Uh, Spitfire Audio Labs is VST2. And uh, Zebra 2 is VST2. More and more plugins are VST3 because a lot of companies don't even include a VST2. Uh, we add at the end of the library names here what format is needed so you know. Because now you can go over to here to Unify 
and go to the plugins, click the little plugins icon down there. And there's a couple ways to get plugins known in Unify. You can do the boom update VST. That's the same as VST2. And if I say start, it will start scanning and it will take a while. So you go have a cup of coffee or something and you come back and everything's installed. But I'm going to do a force scan stop because we're going to do it a little bit different way. The other way to do this is to say select files to scan. And I can go to the VST folder and I could say DCO. And there's the DCO 106. I can actually do more than one at a time. Uh, Shane was very cool at adding this ability. So I could go down here to Uhi. Uh, let's see, does it show Zebra? Or it's Uhi plugins. I, I think I have to do that inside of separate, but I can also go to Spitfire Audio. Oh, is it just labs? Yeah, it's just labs. So we just go here to labs. Uh, labs. Boom. And say open. And it's going to scan those two. I got to do this one more time. Let me show you one more way that's really cool. So if we go to that same VST folder. And well, here, let's, we have to have, yeah, the plugin page is open. Go here. Let's resize that so I can go down here. If I go to the uh, Uhi folder, and it's not named right, so go like this. Uh, Uhi. Zebra 2. All I have to do is drag this over the interface and let up, and Unify will scan it. So you, there's a number of ways to get plugins known to Unify. You can scan, you can select files from a full pull down, or you can just open up the folder itself, bypass the scanner, drag, go like this, and drag like this, and it will like take the time to scan all of them, and then then you're done. So it just depends on how you want to get your plugins known. It shouldn't take it too long to do 15 plugins. There. Now all of Uhi's, <laughs> if I close and I go to my plugin list and I go all instruments, if I go to Uhi, all of those plugins are now known. So I can go Zebra 2 and boom.